Hello my loves and welcome back to day 15 of our four week workout challenge. I'm giving you guys new workouts to do every single day for four weeks and we've just started week three. So I'm so proud of you for making it this far, for staying consistent or for hopping back on if you missed a few days. But today we are focusing on our glutes. So we have a juicy glute day planned for you. It's very similar to the glute days we've done before, but we're gonna up the intensity just a little bit. So no equipment is necessary. If you would like to grab ankle weights you are more than welcome to or if you have a booty band or any other sort of weight you're welcome to use that as well and I'll cue you when it's time to use those so let's go ahead and get started here we're gonna take our arms up into these marches you're already engaging your core as you bring your knee up to your chest bringing those elbows down to meet that here so we are engaging all of these muscles we're about to be working today, we've got those glutes firing, we've got that core firing. As always, your core is so important. It stabilizes you through all of these workouts. So I love helping guys cultivate a strong and healthy core. And if you joined us yesterday for our stretches, for our mobility day, those hip flexors are nice and ready to go. Using those to draw your leg up here and drawing your spine and your belly button together for, again, that strong core. Try not to arch your back here, but tuck that pelvis under. And we're here for three, for two, and one. Feeling that heart rate start to rise. Now bring it into a parallel squat here, meaning your feet are just about shoulder width distance facing forward. Drop it into your seat here. Squeezing forward at the top with those hips lengthening the crown of your head. So when you are hitting the top, you are thinking of having a long straight posture from your hips down to your ankles. And when you're dropping into this squat, let's see if we can find a line from our knees to our hips. So we're just here pushing energetically through your heels. Four, three, four, two, and one, straight into some sumo squats. So legs are gonna be slightly wider than shoulder width distance, turning your toes out, dropping straight into this squat. Again, squeezing at the top with your glutes and try to see if you can find resistance on the way down. So don't let gravity do the work. I want you to think about resisting as you drop and lengthening as you squeeze at the top. So again, a tall, crown of your head like a string is pulling up through your head as you stand and engage those glutes at the top to really just fire them up here and we are here for three good four two and last one here we're going to drop it down to the mat to really start burning out those glutes once you're here on the floor find a tabletop position where those shoulders down and back stack your shoulders above your wrists and your hips above your knees. We're gonna find a bird dog here. Raise that left arm by your ear. Your right leg is going to go back. Those hips are gonna stay square and your core is engaged. Drawing in your knee to your chest and find energy as you lengthen. Inhale on that lengthen. Exhale as you squeeze together, really engaging your core. I want you to focus on the top of your glutes. See if you can find a squeeze there trying not to arch your back but really keeping it in control so we're not arching here we're keeping that core engaged so no other part of your body is moving except this arm and this leg if you need to place your hand on your glute to find that that is perfectly fine as well whatever helps you with that mind muscle connection again focus on those hips i know for me i always have to make sure that i'm drawing my right hip down towards the earth to keep us centered. We're here for three, drawing it in for two, moving slow and controlled. And last one here. We're burning out this right glute and that's what's gonna make this a little bit harder. So we're gonna stay up in this position and we're pulsing here for eight, for seven, focusing on that core for six, for five, how are your glutes for four, for three, for two, and one, squeezing, finding length through your arm, a straight line down to your leg. You are one line of energies we are holding here. Again, check in with your core, check in with the top of that glute, that glute max should be squeezing on fire. Those hips are facing the earth like headlights and drop that down here. 
roll your shoulders back and down again, shake out those wrists if you need to, again, finding a fist on the ground or those forearms. Re-engage your core and extend that leg behind you. Good. Lifting here, that same kind of deal. We're squeezing your core. And as you're getting comfortable with these movements, I really want you to focus on the little tiny things. How's your core? You know, it's so easy when you're getting into this to just lift up and focus on that burn. But now that you're getting comfortable with showing up every single day, you can start to check in with the other parts of your body and build stability and build balance through all of this. So this is an incredible opportunity to check in. And if your low back has been consistently hurting through this, maybe you can find the adjustment today that helps you figure out how to target your glute instead. I already feel a little bit of a shake and we're pulsing here. Lift that leg up to the top. Find little circles to the right. Engaging that core, squeezing through the top of that glute, and circles to the left. If you're feeling it in your low back or if this is uncomfortable for you, drop down at any moment. But see if you can stick with me as we hold for eight, for seven, adjust those hips for six, for five, good hold for four, for three, for two, and one. Good job, you guys. Give your glutes some love here. That was incredible, and we're not quite done. Bringing it back up to a tabletop position. We're flexing this right foot and drawing that heel up to the ceiling. So kick with energy to the ceiling, bring your knee just about knee height or just about to your other knee on this side and kick up to the ceiling, keeping that core engaged. I always have to check myself, am I arching? How's my core? But we are absolutely killing it here. We are isolating through this right glute. Finding a great burn. I'm switching my wrist here because I noticed that I get burnt out pretty quick on my wrist. But if you're finding a hard time, just try to lengthen and broaden through your back here to give yourself a stable core. Really kick that heel into the ceiling. We're here for three more. Squeezing at the top. You can put that hand there if you need to to figure out what's going on, what you should be squeezing at the top. Last one, I want you pulsing for eight. Good, for seven, adjusting your hips, for six, for five, for four, for three, squeezing, for two, and can we hold it at the top here, really focusing on driving that heel up. Three, two, one, go ahead and drop it down. That is incredible right there. My booty is already on fire. I'm already obsessed with this week three. Feeling stronger, but we're back into a tabletop. We've really been focusing on this glute max and getting that absolute shelf. So we're switching it into our glute medius to build out this side of our cute little booties. We're getting really good at this strong tabletop here. Bring your right leg out to the diagonal. And here again, I want you to focus on shifting your hips, squeezing through your core to really find strength here. And make sure you're lifting through your leg, not just shifting your hips up and down. So squeezing through the top, this movement can be really awkward at first. It can get a little bit crampy there on your glute, but like we did with our hip flexor stretches, this is incredible to strengthen that glute, to find extra movement and mobility. So we are here trying to make sure that we are balanced on our hands equally. See if you can shift the weight to be distributed equally with your hands as you distract yourself from the burn in this glue and drawing up through the top with that pinky toe. Good, we're here for three, for two, even that supporting glue is getting some love, and one. Try to hold here. We're doing little circles in. Good, feeling that burn carving out this glue here. I'm gonna drop down for a sec, but we are back up. Four little circles. There's never any shame in dropping down and taking what works for you. And I want you holding here. Again, trying to shift those hips, trying to engage that core, drop it in. Give your glutes some love. That was incredible. I'm already sweating it out. And we are almost done. Actually, I think we are done up here. We're cruising through this. Continuing to burn out this right glute medius. Check in you guys, how are we feeling? How's everybody doing? Stay hydrated, go grab some water if you need it. But supporting yourself on your forearm here, we're gonna find a clamshell. So your hips are stacked on top of each other. These toes are touching. And if you'd like an extra spicy option, raise these toes in the air as this leg lifts. 
So obviously you can stay staying down with these toes on the ground, you know, where they should be, where they're meant to be. Or if you're feeling, again, a little insane, bring those toes up, find a little extra challenge here. Pulling up with that glute, staying strong and stabilizing with your core. We are absolutely killing it right now. This glute is working so hard for us. We are getting such mindful movement. I love feeling so good, so refreshed after these classes. Again, we're pulling up with that glute, finding that strength, seeing if you can find the tension on both the upward motion and the downward motion. We're here for three, for two, and one. Drop those lovely toes, drop that lovely knee. Extend your leg because we are lifting up here. Again, keeping those hips square, engaging through your core. Try not to sag into your shoulder. You're getting a nice shoulder workout here. You're working on your posture. You're working on the length through your spine. And more than anything, you're distracting yourself from this leg that is lifting strong through your outer thigh. Again, if you'd like some extra love, you can have that weight or you can push into your thigh. So if you don't have any weights with you, you can choose to push near your knee for the most resistance or in towards your hip for a little bit less resistance here for three, for two, oh my days, and one. This is getting nice and spicy. We're circling in for eight, for seven, stick with me, for six, drop down if you need two, for five, for four, staying strong, for three, for two, and one. Should I make you circle back out? Probably, but give us a second, babe. We're recovering and back up with those circles out backwards, wherever you want to go for eight, for seven, for six. Keep that chest tall. Distract yourself with anything you need to. Keep those hips stacked. Keep those hips stacked. That's where we're going with this. Just make sure you're still targeting this glute. And we are bringing it on down. Now here is where it gets spicier than it did last week. I know, you didn't think it could get spicier, but lo and behold, bring your knee up to your chest, push out with your heel. Up to your chest, out with your heel, with strength, with energy, drawing in with your core. Exhale as you draw in, and inhale as you lengthen. So keeping your hips stacked is gonna make sure that you're really targeting the side of the glute that you want to. And again, this isn't a side of your glute that you're targeting a whole lot. So this is going to be some new movement for some people, and it is tough. But we are pulsing up for eight, for seven, and I'm saying my prayers, for five, for four, for three, for two, swear if you have to, and one. Bring it in. Pray, cry, shake it out. Give yourself some love because you did a very tough workout on this right glute. And we're gonna even out the love here with some glute bridges. And then you can say goodnight to your left glute because she's gonna be so juicy. Roll down onto your back for your glute bridge here. And your hands are gonna be just near your heels. Your heels are gonna be just about hip width distance. If you have lower back injuries, keep this lower back sealed into the ground. Keep your belly button pulling in. And if you, listen, I sent you guys a thing in the group chat about engaging your core. If you ever feel like you're not engaging things right, go and draw in your little, what's it called? Kegel muscles. You know what I'm talking about, okay? Do the little draw in. You're engaged. We're good. Make sure that we are not doming here, but we are engaging all of those muscles. So now we have our backs pressed into the floor if you have back injuries. Otherwise, we've got a healthy arch here. Hands are near your heels and you're going to pull up one vertebrae at a time to find a straight line at the top, squeezing through those glutes, tucking that tailbone under, keeping those knees narrow as you roll back down one vertebrae at a time. Now that we have this motion, we're gonna go a little quicker and we are in fact touching at the ground. I want you to fully release and fully squeeze. Good, squeeze the top, pause here for a moment, roll back down, fully release, fully squeeze. We've got one more here after this one, keeping those knees together, sorry, keeping them narrow. I just really want you guys to get this motion nice and slow and controlled and squeezing at the top, roll back down. If you'd like to engage those glutes more, Draw your heels towards your booty here, and you're really gonna feel that engagement. So now we're gonna find this movement a little bit quicker. I'm like trying to balance on my 
little bun back here. Didn't think of my hair very much, but we are up and down, squeezing through this movement, finding energy, barely tapping at the ground, but keeping your glutes engaged for the entire movement, really focusing on a strong line here at the top, rolling up, good, you guys are feeling it now, pushing through your heels, drawing your heels towards your booty, feeling the muscle fibers of that booty build as we freaking speak. Again, make sure we're hydrated, make sure we're eating before or very soon after these workouts because I want you to stay strong and healthy because again, movement, sorry, we're holding at the top here as I go on my spiel, but movement is so important, but staying hydrated, getting sleep, getting food in your body, that is, that is so important, okay? Movement can't happen without those other things, at least not in a healthy way. So roll back down and draw those knees to your chest. And we are going to do one last little burnout on this right glute. Raise your left leg in the sky, engage that glute. You've got options here. You can have it here at the top for a little less of a challenge. You've got middle here for a mid challenge, or you can have this leg out. Absolutely up to you. We're raising here in three, two, one, up. There we go. I love you guys are getting confident and comfortable with making these workouts your own. You're starting to understand your own fitness level, your own comfort level with these. And I hope you're finding time to both challenge yourself and allow yourself to be where you are and be so satisfied with that. Here for three, for two, and one of my right glute is tired, so we are just gonna take this in. I don't feel like pulsing at the top, do you? Didn't think so. Rolling back around onto a tabletop position, shoulders back and down, you're stacking your shoulders over your wrists, your knees, and your hips are in line. Extend that right arm this time, extend that left leg, and exhale as you pull in. You know what the vibe is here. You know what the drill is, and believe it or not, my left glute is already on fire from everything else we've been doing. So this is nice and juicy. We are burning out these muscles. Again, since we don't have a lot of weight to work with here, we're focused on endurance. We're focused on reps. So this really is an endurance exercise. So don't feel bad for a second. If you need to drop down, it's meant to burn, okay? It's meant to feel so good. You're meant to be here challenging yourself celebrating yourself, engaging your core, lengthen, see if you can find even more energy as you lengthen out with strength here. Squeeze at the top of that glute, good. Squeezing, we're here for three, squeeze, for two, engage your core, and last one here, so you gonna be the juiciest of them all. Let's pulse here for eight, for seven, engage your core, don't arch here, for six, for five, for four, for three, strong through that left wrist, for two, and one, holding here, finding both a workout in your right shoulder, your left shoulder, your right glute, your left glute, everything is firing here, everything is working together. Bring it down. I love finding workouts that bring all parts of your body into harmony here. Everything is working together to get you where you need to go. So, extending that left leg, let's check back in with your body, your shoulders, your glutes, everything squeezed, your core is tucked in, your hips are level. If I were to place a glass of water on your back, it should be standing straight and tall because you're a body and those shoulders are strong, that core is engaged, those hips are level, and nothing else is moving except for that leg. We are isolating this glute. Focus on that mind and muscle connection again if you need to tap, ooh, there we go on that muscle without falling over, of course. That is a perfect option as well. Trying to keep that knee facing the ground. We're here for three, good, for two, squeeze, and one. We're making little circles. There we go, carving out that booty. Feeling so good, feeling so accomplished of the day, and you are well over halfway, I believe. Switching those circles, don't leave put false hope in you. But at the same time, be proud of yourself. You're here for three, for two, and hold. Five, four, let that leg shake. Three, two, and one. That's what we call 
the power of one. I don't know what that means. I just know that I ended on a one and I'm feeling powerful. Give that booty some love. Back up for a donkey kick and engaging that core. We know the drill. This time let's make it spicy. We already had a glass of water on your back. Let's think of a book this time. Whatever book that you are currently reading in, haven't finished in how long has it been? That's what I thought. Let's go read a book after this. All right, squeezing at the top and <laughs> Inhale as you lengthen and exhale as you squeeze. I just caught myself with an arched back, but there's always time to recover and fix it. Keeping those hips facing the ground, kick up strong through your heel, finding energy through your heel at the top. We're here for three. This is three. And don't get ahead of yourself. This is two. And I'm getting so much better at counting. And this is one. We're pulsing for a good for seven. Those hips, I always have to check myself. This entire process is just getting to know your body. So no matter where you are in your level, no matter what's going on, we're holding. It is never too late to check in with your body and make sure that everything is working together and drop it down. I'm gonna take a child's pose here. Feel free to join me. And back up to this tabletop. Again, those wrists might be getting a little bit sore, so never feel bad about taking your forearms as long as your core is engaged and as long as you're feeling it, you're golden. So take that left leg out, extend it to the diagonal of your mat, lifting here with strength through your leg. Oh, beautiful here. Finding that strong movement, pulling up with your outer thigh, pulling up with your glute medius. So again, rounding out these beautiful, yummy, juicy glutes here. This glute day is quickly becoming my favorite and my least favorite all the time at the same time. But honestly, this kind of burn is what really gives me the most endorphins, what leaves me feeling so accomplished. Check in with your core. Are we engaged? Is that belly button drawn to your spine? Is your supporting leg engaged here? We're here for three, for two, and one. I'm taking it down for just a second. Let's be so real, that really hurt, but I love it. Take that back up between little circles here. And again, engaging my core and tucking in that tailbone, finding a neutral spine, and we're switching those circles. You guys are so strong. We are so good at what we do. Hold for five, for four, feel it out, burn it out, drop it in. That was two and one. Beautiful, lovely, wonderful. I'm so proud of us. Bring it around to the ground. We're finding a clamshell with that arm supporting us here. Strong through your chest. This is, this is good. Your heart rate is up. I'm feeling the energy. I'm feeling the vibes right now. Engage to your core, stack your hips making sure that we are so ready to engage this cutie little leg. If you'd like to find your, your toes up in the air, like you really don't care, be my freaking guest. Lifting that knee up to the ceiling with strength, with power here. And we're lifting and we lower again with strength as well. Keep those toes pointed here. Your toes are never leaving each other, even if they're here on the ground. Whatever movement you need to find, just make sure those hips stay stacked and that beautiful leg stays moving at least a little bit. Whatever movement you need to take, if you need to find a child pose at any point, if you need to pause at any point, please be my guest. I'm just proud of us for sticking with this right now for three, for two, and we're pulsing at the top. Good, we're pulsing little guys just really focusing on the side of this glute, getting into it here, finding your happy place in your brain. Straighten that leg, you know what's next. Lifting that left leg up into the sky, pulling up with the side of your leg, engaging through your glute. Check in again with your core. It's your strong base, it's supporting you through everything here. Try not to sink into your shoulder, but keep that strong. Working on that posture, keeping those hips stacked. Don't let it fall behind you, but stay stacked right on top here. Facing all the way forward. We're pulsing at the top with little circles backwards. Here for eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, you guys are doing so good, for three, for two, 
and switch it on one. And I want you to dig deep. Think about those things that you've been manifesting for two weeks straight now. The things that I had you think about on the first day were holding at the top and you are thinking of three things that you are calling into your life right now. For 2024, drop that leg down. Keep those things in your mind as we lift this left leg up to your knee. Push out with energy with your heel. Draw it up and push out to find yourself in line with that other hip. Really drawing through with the top of that thigh with the side of your leg and kicking your heel towards the wall. Pushing straight through to find yourself in a line here. Focusing on those things you're manifesting. Focusing on the fact that you are someone who keeps their promises. You're someone who gets crap done. And we're, did we pulse here before? I don't know if we did, but we're pulsing now. Today is a pulsing kind of day. And we're here for three, four, two, and one. Bring it in. Manifesting all of that works out for you guys because if you can do this, you can do anything. Now from here, it's time to share the love. So we're back into some glute bridges. Your feet are just about hip width distance here. They're just a little bit further than your fingertips. Engage by drawing those heels into the ground and toward your glutes. Let's roll up here. You guys have already got the motion, so we're just gonna get straight into it. Good, sharing the love between these glutes. Burning it out, you guys are almost done. I'm proud of you for sticking with this. Once this video is over, you can say, okay, I freaking did it. We're 13 days in. I got my workout done for the day, and I am absolutely killing it. So keeping those knees narrow, keeping those hips in line at the top. We're gonna pulse here at the top, bringing your pelvis in for five, for four, for three, for two, and one, drop it down, raise that right leg in the air. Again, seal that back into the ground at the bottom if you need to. Raise that leg, you've got options here at the top. You can go 45 degrees, you can come at 90, whatever is most comfortable for you. We're raising in three, two, one, look at you go. We're squeezing at the top, push through your heel. No matter how awkward this might feel, I don't think this was a movement anybody was ever meant to do in their entire lives. And I think I say that every time, but it's like, girl, how am I isolating my left glute to do this one random motion Well, I was born to walk? And I think that's about it. And we're here for three, for two, distracting myself, and one, hold at the top, bring it down, legs come into your chest, roll it out side to side. Normally I'd have us do one more round of bird dogs here, but I feel like it's a stretch it out immediately kind of day. So if you'd like to take one more round of bird dogs, you are more than welcome to get those reps in, girl. But we are finding a figure four. Your right ankle comes on top of your left knee. Shake it out here, roll it out, find a stretch through your glutes. Switch, letting your breath come down. Finding a stretch through that glute. And exhale. Let those endorphins do their thing. Finding that good, bright mood after all of that lovely movement. And go ahead and let those legs come out. Find a tall spine, flex those toes. Leaning forward, seeing if you can grab those toes. Seeing where you can grab on your mat, on your legs, wherever you are. Point your toes. Inhale and see if you can find a deeper stretch here. Good, draw yourself up one vertebrae at a time. And if you'd like a deeper glute stretch, you already know how because we did our stretching video yesterday and if you haven't seen that, go back one day. So, feet together. Knees are coming out, tall spine here. Press those knees down one at a time, both at a time, whatever kind of stretch you'd like to find here. But bringing it up tall, leaning forward, drawing your energy and your chest forward to find a strong stretch in those glutes. Good, drop your neck and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Letting your heart rate come down, letting your breathing slow. Take a crossed leg, a comfortable seated position, laying if you would like to. 
We're finally at my favorite part of the workout. Bring one hand to your chest, one hand to your belly. Roll your shoulders back and down. Find a roll in your neck if you'd like to. Strong, tall posture. Keeping that core engaged here. Keeping that lower back protected. And we're here with a clear mind. Leaving the rest of the world behind. As long as this video is going, the rest of the world is outside. We're in our little bubble. Let's breathe in for four, three, two, one. Hold, three, two, one. Letting your mind find stillness. Exhale, three, two, one. Hold, three, two, one. Inhale, three, two, one. Finding a longer hold or a longer inhale, whatever serves you today. Exhale, three, two, one. Letting the energy slow as you hold, two, one. Letting your mind come to a place of rest. Take the rest of these breaths on your own. Just finding peace in your chaotic day. Just finding that part of yourself that is cheering you on through everything. We're mid-January, 2024 just started. It can be intimidating to think about the rest of the year, all those mornings you have to get up, all those nights you have to go to bed, all of those routines you have to do, it can get overwhelming. But finding moments of stillness like this helps you find some peace in those chaotic moments as well. Helps you keep your head because you know how to regulate your nervous system. Bring that anxiety back down. Take that weight off your chest. And guide yourself into a calm life. Slowly open those eyes, slowly shake it out, wake yourself back up, and whether you're finding this video at the beginning of your day, the end of your day, or sneaking it somewhere in the middle, I'm glad you made time for yourself. I'm glad you had a moment of peace, a moment of energy, and I hope you find the rest of your day with confidence. I love you, and I will see you tomorrow.